Hi guys, Dane here, and today I've got like five different things to update you on, so I'm just going to jump right in and go through them all. Probably the first one is that I've had my hair cut. Look, look at my hair. It's shorter. My head feels lighter. That also brings me on to another point, which is that, like, I pre-film my videos, so you're about to see, like, my hair jump all over the place, because in one, my hair will be short, like this, or shorter, and then in another one, it's going to be super long, but we're just going to have to deal with that as it goes. Hopefully, you guys don't mind that. I'm still kind of learning on my feet here, because I've kind of made videos here and there throughout the years, but I've never really had, like, an audience, and, um... Yeah, I just want to say now, actually, thank you to everybody who's subscribed and everyone who leaves a like and a comment and all that stuff. It really means a lot. And, uh, yeah, it's great to, like, I feel like part of a community is super cool. And actually, that's pretty much what this video is all about. So, first of all, you'll have seen from the title that there is something called January happening. Um, so what this is basically a bunch of us are all gonna read Frank Herbert's June And I think all of us actually who are doing it are first-time readers of June But if you want to reread June, you're also welcome to join in. It's not like a super official readathon or anything like that This basically started with I was talking to Graham Quigley and he mentioned that he had June on his TBR shelves as well So we were like, oh, let's buddy read it and then um, then I got talking to Mindy's book journey and and she was like, oh, I have uh, June on my TBR shelves. And I was like, oh, well, me and Graham are buddy reading it. You should join us. And then who else? And then I was talking to Bree from, I think it's Peachy Reads or Peachy Books, something like that. Sorry for butchering your channel name, Bree. <laughs> All of these are, like, in the description below if you want to check out. But, yeah, and I was talking to Bree, and then she was like, oh, yeah, I need to read June. So now there are the four of us, <laughs> so all four of us are going to read June in January, hence January. I came up with that name, I was strangely proud of it. As you can see, I've actually already made a bit of a dent into it. The plan is that we're all going to read it throughout January, and then February the 1st, we're going to post a video each on our channels, where we'll just talk about what we thought of the books and that sort of thing. And again, if you want to read June, whether you're a first-time reader or whether you want to give it a reread, feel free to join us. And uh, yeah, let me know as well. If you drop me a message on dane at danecobain.com, then I can send you further details and all that kind of stuff. But basically, all you need to know is read June in January, post a video on February the 1st. And that is January. I must say as well, I'm really enjoying this so far. I think I'm about a quarter of the way through, maybe a bit more, because the last, the last 50 pages of it is, is like... Just a glossary of what all the terms mean. One thing I will say is that because I've seen the movie as well. And the fact that I've seen the movie is making it much easier for me to understand all of the pronunciations in this. The next thing to mention is that I'm going to be reading City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare with Kit Kats Can Read. And we're going to be doing that in February. So uh, Kit Kats Can Read, Katie, I'm just going to call her Katie, it's easier. So Katie's already read all of the series. I've only read um, City of Bones, which is the first book. And I did really enjoy it, actually. I was pleas uh, pleasantly surprised. So we're going to be reading City of Bones together in February. And that also coincides sides with something that Emma Books is doing so you've probably seen her she's one of the kind of more well-known booktubers but just the timing of her read-along she's doing like a year-long Cassandra Clare read-along and the timing is perfect for me and Katie to join in with this so we're gonna do that and then there's a thing that Todd the librarian and I are working on and basically we haven't got a name for it yet and I guess we're still fleshing out the details, but the plan is to do kind of an indie author read-along, but specifically for uh, booktubers who have got books out. So I think there's been some talk of uh, reading Ryan's book from Madman Read and Rocks. I know Todd's got some books out as well. I've got some books out. Uh, there's uh, Paperback Junkie. I think he's got a few out as well. So there's a fair few booktubers I watch who have got books. And we just thought it would be a really nice way of a kind of you know, taking part in the community and sharing some of the channels that are actually out there, but B, you know, spreading the word about some of these indie books that get a little bit less love. So we're probably going to turn that into some sort of book club slash read along thing that people can join in. I don't want to ramble too long because I don't want this to be a super long update video, but there are some other things to mention as well. I was talking to uh, Angela Hart from Books Are My Heart on YouTube, and we were talking on Twitter because she mentioned that she needs to read Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda, which I also need to read and I know Graham Quigley who's reading June with me he also needs to read it so that might happen but if we do that uh, I mean at the moment I'm currently thinking maybe early February we can line that up with Valentine's Day because it's my understanding that it is about love 
That's a tenuous link there. The movie's called Love, Simon, so... And that's coming out in March as well, so if we buddy read that in February, that could be pretty good. So just watch this space and there may be announcements about that, I don't know. I'm still mastering the art of the announcement video. Also, actually, if you guys have got any sort of suggestions about how I can improve my channel and that kind of thing, let me know and I will do my best. And um, one thing I do want to go through quickly as well, uh, a few things like upload schedules and pre-filming and all that stuff. So like, like I said, I have been pre-filming my videos and it means that I've got this like, I have about 30 odd videos that are unlisted and that I can publish at any point. But what I've been finding is that it kind of I, I kind of like making more videos than I actually release because then I only release the ones that I kind of most want to release or that I'm happiest with. So I may potentially keep doing that. The problem here is then for you guys is like the lack of continuity when I've got short hair in this video and then in tomorrow's video I've got long hair or whatever. So let me know if that becomes annoying because I don't want to annoy anyone as well. Like I say, I'm really like honoured that people are taking the time to watch my videos. So I don't want to make videos that just bore the pants off people or put them off or anything I actually want to make stuff that you guys want to watch so as well on a similar theme I'm kind of uploading one video a day at the moment and I don't know if that's annoying anybody or if that's fine I don't really want to do any more than that but at the same time because I do have all these videos it's kind of it'd be kind of weird to do one video every two days or something when I do actually have videos so that's currently the plan and we'll see how it's going I've actually got some really cool stuff like uh, I made a blooper video the other day as well which I'll actually mention that in a minute lots of bookish stuff I did like an instrument tour um, we've got a few episodes of five bookish facts ready in advance as well which I'm excited about another thing to mention is <laughs> this is this sounds really odd to talk about this in this way because you know everyone says it and it's kind of a cliche but the numbers aren't really important but for a while I had my like subscriber count hidden and there was a specific reason for that and it's because I mean I've had this channel for years so my first video was like 2006 or something and I didn't own the content it's pirated don't tell anybody <laughs> Yes, yeah, so because I've had my channel for so long and also like for my competitions on my book blog and stuff, people can enter by subscribing to my channel. So my subscriber count has kind of gone up throughout the years. So I think when I started doing booktube videos on this channel, I was on maybe 800, 850 or something, whereas most people obviously start at zero. When I started actually doing booktube videos, I was on about 800, 850 maybe, and now at the time of filming, I'm on like 908 or something. So I'm approaching a thousand. But at the same time, it feels weird to celebrate a thousand because it's not really a thousand active subscribers, if you know what I mean. Like, don't get me wrong, I appreciate people taking the time to subscribe to me and whatnot. But a lot of the people have, have subscribed due to entering a competition or whatever, and they're not actually, you know, you know how as booktubers or as you know as you guys watching, uh, you you tend to be you watch your YouTube subscriptions every day, you know, and you don't miss a video and all that kind of stuff. Whereas a lot of my subscribers probably come on YouTube once a week when someone links them to a cat video or something. So for a while I actually had my subscriber count hidden because it looks weird then. Like I don't want people being put off being like why has he got 800 subscribers and two views and no comments and stuff. But again, you guys have been really good to me and you've been taking the time to check out my videos and leave comments and that kind of stuff so it kind of isn't an issue anymore. So, so now we're at the awkward moment where I'm approaching a thousand subscribers and I kind of have to celebrate that milestone with, with, without it really being a thousand subscribers. It's like There are channels I watch with 200 subscribers who get twice as many views and stuff as me and, and that's fine, like fair play to them but it's weird for me to then be like, yeah I have a thousand subscribers when I, I don't know, I don't really deserve a thousand subscribers to be honest. Maybe I should actually stop running those competitions, but that's another thing though, I'm running these competitions anyway, so I'm like, well I might as well just sort of funnel a few people into YouTube. Like it's through Rafflecopter so they can enter, you know, they win entries by subscribing, so... I don't know, I'm just rambling now. The upshot of all of this is that I'm kind of getting nearish to a thousand subscribers, even though it's not necessarily a thousand active subscribers, but I think if we power through this milestone, then when I get to something like 1500 or something like that, if I do, then at least it's more accurate, I guess. I don't know. When I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna do a competition, which I'll do like, I see a lot of people doing like the, the book depository so that there's like international shipping and, and all this kind of stuff. So I'll try and figure out a way to do it internationally. Um, you know, I'm, I don't mind putting a bit of money into this channel, if that makes sense. Like I'll buy books 
for myself to read that I want to read and talk about with people. And so I'm quite happy to, you know, give away vouchers and this kind of stuff. Especially because, let's be honest, a lot of the people who watch my channel are people who I watch. So if one of my subscribers wins like a $10 Amazon voucher or whatever, it's probably somebody who I will then end up watching what they spend it on. This video is meant to be short and sweet and it's gone horribly wrong. So just to recap on that, when I hit a thousand subscribers, which actually isn't really a thousand subscribers, but we'll just run with it and we'll pretend that it's fine. When that happens, I'm gonna do a competition and also I've got a blooper video. I missed my finger then, I, I went like, like that and missed it. Oh yeah, that reminds me, one last thing, I wanted to talk about my upload schedule, which is a tentative upload schedule. But like I said, uh, at the moment I'm doing a video per day and a lot of that is because Again, I'll, I'll only do a certain type of video once per week, so if I do two Five Bookish Facts episodes, that's two weeks worth of videos done, and I'll film that in an afternoon, you know, so. The plan is, Mondays. Mostly on Mondays, I'm gonna be sharing the little, uh, like, visit vlogs from where I've went to, been to various bookish places. So a lot of these are actually from my old channel, but recut with, like, a voiceover at the top of them. But I think they're quite nice and they're quite fun. And sharing those on a Monday will hopefully encourage me to go and visit some more. On Tuesdays, Tuesdays is pretty simple. It's gonna be Tag Tuesdays. I've got a big backlog of tags that I've filmed and haven't posted yet, so a lot of those will be those, but again, if somebody tags me in a video, I'll try and do that and release it on a Tuesday. I do wanna do one of my own original tags at some point as well, but it's kinda of not a priority at the moment, given that I have so many tags filmed and kinda of ready to go. Wednesday, obviously we've got five bookish facts, and people seem to be really enjoying that, and I'm glad, because those are a lot of fun to do as well, so I plan to just keep, keep on keeping on with those. If you have a suggestion for an episode, please do leave a comment, and I'll try and cover it in a future episode. As well. Thursdays and Sundays, those are both going to be review days, so reviews twice a week. I know they're not necessarily as popular, especially in terms of views and that kind of stuff, but I mean, I read a lot of books and I have a lot to say about them, so I do want to read uh, to do some more review videos, and hopefully, you guys will put up with them. I, I know I had some nice comments on my Stephen Colgan review recently, which is very nice. And then that leaves me Friday and Saturdays, and those are both my kind of free days in my schedule at the moment so that's everything from like poetry videos wrap-ups hauls and that kind of stuff my wrap-ups and hauls always kind of come at the start of the following month so that i can make sure i've mentioned everything any any kind of video this is going to go up on a saturday and speaking of that actually i know i mentioned angela hart earlier who i might be buddy reading simon versus the homo sapiens agenda with She's also the person who created the Cozy Mystery Book Tag, which I posted a while back, which again, people seem to like. So again, thanks for all your lovely comments on that. And uh, she also runs a Cozy Mystery Book Club. She's a writer herself. And today, the day that this video is going out is Saturday, and it's uh, Words on the Pageathon. And she posted a video about that on her channel. Basically, it's like a 24 hour readathon, but for writing. So I will be spending today writing as many words as I can, hopefully kind of vlogging the process as well, maybe even get some like screen captures and all that kind of stuff so there'll probably be a video on that soon I think that's it I didn't realize I had as much to say until I started saying this this is like 20 minutes of footage for me to edit now oh and if I don't subscribe to you and you have a bookish channel of your own make sure you let me know with a comment or you can even just tweet me or drop me an email or do whatever because I'm always looking for new channels to watch again if you've got really close friends on YouTube who you think could use the support then let me know as well and I will I will do what I can I mean like I say I really appreciate everyone I know I've said this like five times in this video but I really appreciate everyone taking the time to watch my videos leave comments and all this kind of stuff and um, yeah I like to return that favor wherever I can so you know thanks for having me and on that note i'm off to do some writing and um yeah i'll see you soon for another bookish video thanks a lot i'll see you soon bye